What's up everyone, in this video I'm sharing with you how you can create these little scribble animations in Blender. So the first step when you open up Blender is to go for a 2D animation file, or to go into a 2D animation workspace you could say. Why? Because in the normal workspace it's quite hard to set this up right. So with the 2D animation workspace we basically have what we need in order to create 2D animations. Right now we want to draw over a video, so what we want is the video to be in the background of our scene, and then over that video we want to do the 2D animation. First of all we go middle mouse and go out of camera of you to, you know, make you guys understand what we're actually doing here because we're still drawing in 3D space, but from the perspective of the camera, it then looks like a 2D object, you know, but it actually is a 3D object. So first of all, we want to load in our footage. In order to do that, um, we are going to go first of all here to object mode. That's very important because we want to add a new object. And then you have to go into the settings and under the add-ons tab, we want the import images as planes. There we go. This add-on, we want that to be enabled. Then you hit shift A and you go for image. Here we go, images as planes. Then here you're going to navigate to the folder where you have stored your video that you want to draw over and you're going to go import images as planes. Now we want to go back to camera view and as you can see, here we have the video. The video is shot in 3840 by 2160 and um, that's just something that I know. That's something that you should also know. So I'm just going to set that up here. I am in the output properties here. That's where you can set that. And now we're just going to hit S and scale this up until it fits our frame here perfectly. That's not looking good, I don't know why. Ah, because I put 3820 here. Yeah, never mind. So we can just align that basically pixel perfect into the corner here. There we go. So now it's time to draw the animation over our video. What's very important to understand in this situation is that you have to have the stroke object enabled because only then you can go from object mode back to draw mode. We can also, just to quickly demonstrate what this stroke object actually is, it's a grease pencil object. So let's say we deleted that, hitting X on the keyboard, you know, X, now it's gone. We can hit Shift A and just add a new blank grease pencil object and it's the exact same thing. So if you want to have multiple little drawings on your video file, then you can just add more Shift A grease pencil object. There we go. So we are now here and now it's actually time to draw. I don't know how long this video is exactly. 153, there we go. Here's a quick little trick to do that automatically. You're going to open up a VFX motion tracking workspace. But if you just load in uh, the footage here and then go set scene frames, it's going to do that automatically. So just a quick little trick. I think I'm gonna go for like a little, you know, silhouette drawing as I move my arm upwards. So we want to create a white scribble animation over this video. Right now it's drawing black though and that's uh, obviously not what we want. So so how can we make sure that this is uh, being drawn in white? As you can see over here uh, we have our pencil object which is also where you can select the type of brush that you want to choose. I like the ink pen, this one a lot for character animations because it really gives that like, yeah, the ink pen look, that's what it says. Um, generally for this kind of scribble animation stuff, I guess just the pen is good, you know, just gives you a nice clean line. And as you can see right here, we have black as the color. And so what we can do here is we can just click on the stroke color, set it to white, and then we can also call that white so that we're not drawing with the black color, which is white, you know, and then we have a white line. Perfect. And then, uh, yeah, it's just time to make our first stroke for the first frame. So I'm just going to draw like this. If you don't like the size or the, 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 what's it called? The radius. Thank you. The radius of the pen. You can hit F on the keyboard and then make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to start drawing here over my shoulder. Just going to make the first stroke. Now I've done the first stroke at frame 44. Now I go forward one frame to frame 45. And on this frame, I'm going to draw from the middle, basically, of this thing. And then over it all the way towards over here. Now, as you can see, when I'm on frame 44, the frame that we have drawn for frame 45 is like this violet color. And um, the other way around, it's the green color. You can also turn on and off the onion skins uh, over here. Then next frame, frame 46, I'm going to draw again from the middle here to you know, a little bit further. When you want to move the frame, don't just do it with middle mouse or two fingers on your trackpad when you're working like me on a trackpad. Do it with shift middle mouse or shift and two fingers and then you move it around um, because otherwise you know you're going to go into 3d view and then you have to click on the camera icon again to go back into the 2d view which is essentially just a perfect frontal view in 3d space next frame always with right arrow a little further and then from here to what's over there also when the lines get longer and shorter as you can see now, I'm drawing like a really long line. When the lines get longer and shorter, that gives it a really cool effect because that can make it look like it's kind of accelerating and decelerating at times. 
So you have to just think logically about it, you know, and you have to think about how you want it to look. I'm not just going to do the glasses and the eyes as well, because that's pretty cool, I think. And now what we can do is we can look at our whole animation. So we're going to go back on the timeline to frame zero and here we go. Hey, look at that. That's looking pretty cool, I would say. Before we render this though, with this technique, we have to do a few more tweaks in order to really make it work, because right now you can see that the black levels are really lifted. We're gonna go to a shader editor, and as you can see here, we basically just have this plane in 3D space. Also here you can see that the grease pencil object is actually a 3D object. It has depth to it. But anyways, um, here what we have to do is we have to connect the color to the emission color. So we have to click on this little drop down, then emission. Then we're gonna set the strength here to one. And then we're going to go to the world properties and set the strength here to zero. So now it's not illuminated from the white outside, which it was before, which is why the black levels were risen. And so now we have the perfect version of what we want, essentially. So now we can go into our output properties. Um, we're just going to set the file format to FFmpeg video. Um, in the color mansion, we're going to go follow scene. Encoding is going to be MPEG4. In H264 video codec, we're going to go to lossless. We're going to choose an output path. Scribble, scribble demo finished. And the really cool thing about 2D animation is also that you don't really have to care about the frame rate. So whether it's 24 or 25, it doesn't matter. So even if I did 60 here, you know, which would be really fast, then still the animation works. So you can speed up the animation and uh, yeah, everything works like a charm. So you can just choose that freely as you like. And then the last step is just to render your animation and you can check it out. You can check out how it looks. And so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I would say see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.